Hello everyone and welcome to an infection quiz on infection tube. Today we will have a quiz about Klebsiella pneumonia. Let's get started. Question 1. What is the primary metabolic characteristic of Klebsiella pneumonia? A. Glucose fermenting. B. Lactose fermenting. C. Protein fermenting. D. Lipid fermenting. Correct! It is B. Lactose fermenting. Question 2. Which of the following is not a major virulence factor of Klebsiella pneumonia? A. Capsular serotype. B. Hypermucoviscosity phenotype. C. Siderophores. D. Toxins. That's right. It is D. Toxins. Question 3. What is the role of the KPF28 fimbria in Klebsiella pneumonia? A. Enhances iron uptake. B. Promotes adherence and bowel colonization. C. Increases antibiotic resistance. D. Protects against immune response. Exactly. It is B. Promotes adherence and bowel colonization. Question 4. Which clinical manifestation is not commonly associated with Klebsiella pneumonia? A. Urinary tract infections. B. Meningitis. C. Pneumonia. D. Liver abscess. Uh, correct. It is B. Meningitis. Question 5. What is the main purpose of siderophores in Klebsiella pneumonia? A. Protect against antibiotics. B. Facilitate adhesion to host tissues. C. Chelate iron for bacterial growth. D. Enhance motility. That's right. It is C. Chelate iron for bacterial growth. Question 6. Which of the following scenarios is most likely to result in increased nasopharyngeal carriage of Klebsiella pneumonia? A. Healthy children. B. Hospitalized patients. C. Ambulatory alcoholic patients. D. Patients on antibiotic therapy. Correct. It is C. Ambulatory alcoholic patients. Question 7. Which of the following does not significantly contribute to the antibiotic resistance seen in Klebsiella pneumonia? A. Production of ESBLs. B. Carbapenem hydrolyzing beta lactamase. C. Loss of outer membrane porins. D. Increased capsule thickness. Exactly. It is D. Increased capsule thickness. Question 8. Which virulence factor of Klebsiella pneumonia most directly facilitates its adhesion to host tissues? A. Capsule. B. Hypermucoviscosity phenotype. C. Pili. D. Siderophores. Correct. It is C. Pili. Question 9. Which clinical syndrome caused by Klebsiella pneumonia is least likely to be associated with the bacterium's capsule? A. Nosocomial pneumonia. B. Pyogenic liver abscess. C. Soft tissue infections. D. Urinary tract infections.
That's right. It is D, urinary tract infections. Question 10. Which diagnostic method is most definitive for identifying Klebsiella pneumonia in a clinical sample? A. Blood test. B. Urine dipstick. C. Culture isolation and gram stain. D. X-ray imaging. Correct. It is C. Culture isolation and gram stain. I hope you enjoyed this infection quiz on infection tube. Remember, knowledge is power when fighting infections. If you like this video, subscribe to Infection Tube for more educational and entertaining content. Like the video if you enjoy learning about the microbial world in a fun way, and comment with your thoughts or questions about Klebsiella or suggestions for future topics. Check out the link to Klebsiella's Comedy Night in the description for more details on Klebsiella pneumoniae. Stay safe. Stay informed and keep those microbes in check. See you next time.